Hey folks, this is Noble Rambler, and welcome back to RimWorld. We've got Natalia tearing this door apart, because it's starting to get, you know, into kind of like summer. First of Jugast. And spring is done, which means we're going to get warmer, which means we got to get this opened up, because our two coolers here are dumping into this room. This wasn't here last summer. This was an opening into the outside. So, did that temporarily to get through the winter, and... Yeah, we got a dry thunderstorm rolling through. More fires. Woohoo! <laughs> um, didn't release an episode yesterday. I was about to record this one yesterday and or day before, whatever. And looked over at the the numbers and saw that very few people had watched the last one. So figured I'd give a day for folks to catch up. But in between, I went ahead and set up a, another stockpile for granite chunks and some stockpiles for marble chunks. See if we can't start clearing some of the uh, the chunks out of here. Just because, well, we've got a lot of, of blocks already made, so we're not gonna be making at the rate that we have been. Certainly not at the rate that we're, we're picking the walls apart. Got some more hay grass to plant up in here. Looks like Rabbit's off to do that. Sangria is bringing a meal to eat right in there. Still need to get this done, but hello. To do that, we need to get all these trees cut. So we're just about out of wood. So Rabbit's gonna pull what? Oh, you're gonna go harvest now. Okay, something just triggered. And Sienna is dropping off more chunks of marble over there. So, what else is going on here? Where is... That's right. Shantico just got triggered with a go frenzy. Is that what it says? Um, inspired... Insp inspiration go frenzy. There's the word go frenzy. Okay, so he's, he's running around like crazy right now. And that's a good thing. Now, he's using supplies twice as fast because we are... Um, we're making lavish meals instead, which give a, a higher bonus. And we've got quite a, well, we've got a lot of meat here. We're going to run out of veggies soon, but it's all starting to harvest now, too. So, we're just the beginning of summer, and as we get toward the end of the year, and actually, you know, if we haven't started filling this up, then we'll probably go back to find meals and uh, build up a few more supplies. Until we're into here, and a lot of this gets torn down, and we get more of a garden area out here. That's the hope. Okay. So Klaus is filling up over here. They are empty. They are. Yeah, we're going to need to... Who's on hauling? I'm going to zoom out a little bit so we can see if there's any fires. Yeah, there's a fire right there. I was going to work through this, but I think what I need to work through is this. Would you guys go take... Hello. Yeah. Let's take care of some of these. I think so. And it, it'll probably start to rain on us here soon, and then I'll, I'll cancel it. But right now, let's see. I want this one. Clear home zone. I don't need that. What else is burning out here? Oh, boy. Yep, yep. Expand home zone. Let's, although that one's not going anywhere. Well, it'll be out here real quick. But let's clean out these fires so that the trees that we do have left remain. Um, there's Rabbit taking care of that one. It'll be done. Um, no more, no more, um, uh, thunderstorm. We've got fog going on right now, which means the fires are going to continue to burn. So, who's out here to help out? Shantigo's running fast. He's going to take care of that one. Great. Though, you got to be careful with them making a long run. They, you know, by the time he gets to this one, there may be fire all the way around, and he'll be running through the fire to get to it. So, you do have to babysit that a little bit. I'm going to tell him instead to put out this one. And successfully tamed a boomalope. All right. Now you get to be rewarded by putting out that fire. Woohoo! Boomalope. Let's just send you right now into the alpaca grazing zone and we'll set you for obedience. And anything else over here? Set Isabel for hauling, uh, hauling training. And everything else here looks normal. Okay. Um, at least I think. Any other haulers that I missed? You are over there. You are over there. Yeah. And you are over there with them just because you're a dog. Tomislav is beating out the fire down here. Good. 
And Michael is going to the edge. Good. All right, everybody's up. Hopefully they got a meal. And they'll be fine for a while. Miss P is heading for right over there. All right, you guys will put that out and hopefully go up here and help Rabbit and Klaus. Doesn't look like it's going to rain anytime soon. So yeah, we got to save these trees. We need the wood. We have a lot of construction ahead of us. All right, well, it looks like everybody's okay. I can leave them to do it. Tomasov's over here on his own. Anybody not get the order? Here, Natalia is making kibble. <laughs> That's fine. She's got a very slow run speed, so we'll leave her down here. There's nothing nearby. They'll have that under control in no time. All right, so what else is there to think about down here? Miss P's been working down in this area. Moisture pond. Oh, hello. An Agarilux? I, I want to say Agrilux, but that's not it. Agarilux. Minor break. Michael, we'll come right back to you. What are you? An enormous purple mushroom. Its size and glowing protrusions make this fungus beautiful to look at. Dies when exposed to light. Um, I'm in pause when I'm in, some, in this mode. I don't get the sense there's any food value here. There's nutrition 0.05. Well, okay, there's something there. There's cut, but there's no harvest. I don't think you can make dinner out of it. Um, Michael, what's with you? You're down low, and mostly because ugly environment rebuffed by handy. You're still trying that? <laughs> um... Michael, why don't you come down here and art for a while? I think that'll make you a little happier. Um, can you? You cannot, because Handy's or Cathro's already doing it. If I set another one of these, then Michael can come over here and kick her off the table and, and do that. By the time you get all the way down here, you'll be out of that environment, which will help. And hopefully... Well, I was going to say most of the fires will be out. What's up here? You guys... No. Alright, Sangria's going to go work on this. Alright, Handy, why don't you work on this? Oh, we've gone out of our zone. Okay, there, there, and there, there. Not oh, more. Yeah, it grows. Okay, so Handy, you work down here. Alicia, you work right there. Sangria, see if you can handle that one on your own. Hopefully it'll start to rain here soon. Rabbit's heading up there. Three down here. Ah, Rabbit, why don't you help down here? These trees are closer to us, which means we would more likely want to, uh, to go and harvest these trees. So these guys have got these. Okay. Um, our boomalop made it. There you are. And, yeah, they wiped out that hay in no problem. No time. And over here, we do not have any hay left. And we don't have any hay left. Wow. Hmm. Okay. Well, I guess we're going to have to put in a crop of hay grass in here. Is that the plan? Where's the animal zone that they can go to? Um, of course, all the pigs can go outside and eat. They can find grass. They can probably eat the, the brambles. Okay. Uh, but no brambles. There's nothing in here. It's been eaten. It's been mowed down to the roots. Starvation. Handy? You didn't get a meal, did you? Okay. Handy, you just come right on down here and... I guess uh, you got out of bed and came straight here. So, where am I going? Right over here. I'm going to get a good one. Uh, let's check others' needs. So, Tomasov, you're going to need it soon. Handy is out. Otherwise, Shantigo is getting low. Gear. He's got a meal on him. So, I assume at some point he will just break and eat. And hope that he hasn't... Uh, he's not standing next to a fire when it happens. I'll tell you what, let's draft you and put you over here. And do that. And if I undraft you, will you grab that meal? You won't. And I'll just tell you to right now. Shantigo, gear, eat. Okay, you're safe. 
So Shantigo needs, and let's work through the rest of them. Anybody else in critical shape? Miss a P is. Do you have a meal on you? You do not. Okay, you're going to break, and you've been breaking lately, or getting close. So let's just take care of this right now. Where am I? You guys are a long way from home. Uh, right there. There might be one left in that stack. Okay. There you are. Okay. Up here. Alicia, it's all up to you. So Sangria's got this mostly... You're, oh, you're moving slowly from there. Let's take care of the ones that are out at the edges. Let's just work this, through this one smart. Head over here and do this one. And come over and do this one. Get all, all these small ones before they get started. Right there, there. Boy, they just keep starting. Hmm. Alicia's there. Yeah. Where's the rain? We just may have to group these guys all together to put these out. Now, Tomislav's got this area mostly under control. Let's make sure you head to this area first and get that done. Uh, Catherine, why don't you give Tomislav a hand? Just come down here. Get this done, then you can all move into that one. And... Boy. Alicia, come give Sangria a hand. You two tag team and get this done so you can both work on this one. It seems to be spreading almost as fast as you're putting them out. So let's do it that way. One person alone probably doesn't get it. Minor break risk of Natalia and Mississippi. Where's Natalia at? She's down there. Is she? Oh, she's been told to go do something. Okay. Natalia needs... Why don't you grab another one of these meals and get that taken care of. And then it's time for you to go to bed, isn't it? Uh, where are we? 1700. You should have long ago. Okay. Um, work. Natalia, let's turn off your firefighting. And Miss P, let's turn off yours. Both of you need to be in bed right now. Where'd you go? Miss P needs, yeah. So you guys go do that and go crash. All right. Up in here. Yeah, they're almost done up there. Once that's done, I'll send you both down into here. Okay, one last, and just one out. Okay, that's good. That's good. All right, you guys have that under control. Tomislav moved up there. Oh, we have one left. Somebody missed one. Cannot extinguish. <laughs> yeah. All right, go take care of that and the five more that are going to be uh, spread out from it. Okay. Well, that kind of wiped out the first chunk of this video <laughs> anyway what was I doing I was starting to look over at uh, where the moisture pump was when all that happened um, here's the rain okay good finally so granite block there granite door there straight across from these okay uh, I've got to decide where to use auto doors in here. We don't need them in the bedrooms. So auto doors take power. They take quite a bit of power when you get uh, start to accumulate a lot of them. Um, I could force these guys to call it done, but I, I'll do it this way. But they're all going to be quitting here on their own here in a moment. But let's undo the home zone throughout all of this area and there. Just get rid of these so nobody takes it upon themselves to come up and clean the wilderness. And, yeah, you there, you there. All right, that works for home zones, I guess. Works enough. Shantigo's on his way in. Hopefully everybody grabs a meal. In fact, I should kind of check that out. Needs, you're fine. Divot, how you doing? <laughs> Rabbit, desperately need food. He's going after one. Same with Klaus, good. Don't want them to go to bed starving. Or that they're going to drop into starvation and no longer inspired. And then really come out of sleeping in a bad shape. So everyone's decent there. Handy's fine. Sangria's fine. She is... <laughs> Michael went through that one in no time. He made a small sculpture, all right. And he's dropping it off. And 
If I clear this, I better not. He'll stop hauling. i got to let him finish. Thumbs down at Shantigo, Michael. <laughs> oh, the little dramas. <laughs> All right, so we read through these. What do we have here? Name, White Misery, and Sweat of Scarcity. We read these. Michael's going to go eat up there. Let's see what he just made. He just made four for Alicia. What does that mean? Uh, this artwork tells the story of Alicia striking compacted machinery on the 9th of December. Ooh, good. Beauty of 75. On this work is a representation of Alicia striking compacted machinery with a look of surprise. Alicia is jumping for joy. The lower part of the image is dominated by a rock. The work has a post-impressionistic feeling and a very dynamic structure. Mm hmm. Well, it's pretty clear he made this one just for Alicia, so let's send it that way. Install. And this goes right down there. All right. In fact, Michael, when you're done, you can install it for us. Right there. I think. Needs? Yeah, you're fine. Mood is a little rough, though, but rest is going to take care of that. And then I wish I could right-click and tell you to go play chess or something, but you can't. Or I can't. Anyway, I would imagine a lot of folks are going to bed after that. And Kethra is cutting stone from a chunk. There's not much left, so I'm going to go ahead and... I think I'm going to... No, she's in rough shape. Why don't you come back over here and go ahead and work on your sculptures? So if you could clean up a little bit in here, that would be even better. Because then you'd be working in a nicer environment. And who else is in a bad way right now? Major Breaks. <laughs> okay, who isn't in a bad way right now? Okay, Natalia is sleeping. She's going to be fine. Michael is in the good zone again. Miss P is sleeping. She's going to be fine. Alicia is resting, and that will fix her. By the time she gets done, she'll be in good territory. Tomislav's fine. Rabbit is on his way up because he's sound asleep. Okay. Um, Shantigo, same thing. And Klaus is already fine. And Sangria is heading for bed. I guess we're good now. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, the room looks pretty clean. There might be something right there. Otherwise, she is gaining joy from doing something that she really likes to do, which should... Yeah, she's already in positive territory now. So, though we're still showing five aren't, but they're all the ones that are sleeping, I'm pretty sure. All right, anybody down here chipping away? Nope, everyone's asleep there. Kathra is the only one not in bed. Well, it's her place right now. Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay. Um... What more to do? The dogs, yeah, the dogs have done some hauling. So we'll start to, to clear out these places here. Um, work. What was I going to do with work when all that went wrong back up there? Um, hauling? Or was it cleaning? I don't remember now. I don't know what my priority was. I was probably thinking about Shantigo's meals. And do we have enough people hauling stuff? But, uh, I have no idea. So right now it's just kind of waiting for them to, to get up. Is there anything else to be thinking of? Wow, we've already filled all this. Where are we going to put more of the marble chunks while we're waiting? Hmm. We just don't have, though, you know, if, if rock cut or stone cutting to block cutting didn't uh, risk our moods so much. We could have a couple people just constantly doing that. You know, like Kathra. No, she's making a large marble sculpture. Okay. In fact, she made, I mean, she made one. Um, we could just keep making these things and sell them as you know, a source of income, but uh, it's certainly not a, a glamorous uh, means of, of making an income in this game. Um, so we have Kathra's artwork to look at. Uh, water still shallow water there next one is right there it's gone nope it's right here that one is gone this these three are still here okay 
but that does give us the ability to drop a marble wall right there. And I got to talking earlier about uh, about auto doors, but I just thought of something. If we rebuilt that right there, it would certainly do this job a whole lot faster. It's a waste of material, but it would certainly do the job. Tell you what, let's do that. Build a copy right there. <clears throat> Miss P, you can get this started. Would you move that for me? And are you going to continue the process? You're going to drop that right there, aren't you? You are. Can you? Cannot haul or work on. Your skill level is too low. Okay. So once that's built, we'll delete this one. In fact, I can set it for deconstruction now. And because it works in a spiral around itself. So it'll do, you know, right there. Then it'll start that spiral. So first round should take out all three of these. Otherwise, I'm hearing a lot of tapping. This piece eating. <laughs> And then, and yeah, there is a table and chairs over here, but she uh, she missed it. Anyway, she's going to clean out this one big bedroom, and then it'll be done. Any other worries? There are some worries about span right in here. we got a long run once this is gone. Miss P, why don't you fill this in for me? We'll get uh, a block or two of those built. Otherwise, auto doors. What was that? Another herd? Man, did I turn on the, the herd switch or something? A herd of boomalopes. Oh, I don't think so. <laughs> Boy. Now, if you just if you just killed the first one, you know, boom, boom, boom. <laughs> it is raining, but it's who knows how long it's going to be raining. But there's no way to chase these things down and tame them. I wouldn't think. Nah, we'll just keep our efforts going over here. Anyway. Yeah, so many herds. We got none for 40 episodes, and then we're getting you know, the last three episodes, but nothing but. Um, auto doors. I am trying to get back to this subject. I'm thinking auto doors just in places that we'll see a lot of activity. Uh, in and out of freezers is a place I like to use them. So there's or either that or wooden doors. So in this case, since we're in the mountain, then you know, wooden doors open fairly quickly. It doesn't really tell me how fast one opens, right? Nothing like an opening speed or a movement or... It does, 120%. As compared to a... Uh, up in here. A granite door. Opening speed of 45%. So wooden doors open quicker. Auto doors, I'm going to throw out the guess of 150%. So they go quite fast. That's which is why you want to use them, especially in a place like in and out of a freezer, so you get less cold transferring through while it's open. But this case right here, and being in the mountain, we're going to want to seal up the different rooms in the mountain with with granite doors and and stone walls, so that if we get an infestation, we'll have at least a little bit of time before they peck their way into the next room and into the next room, and before you've got them under control. So. In which case, I don't want to delay everybody by making them go through a 45% uh, opening rate of a door. So those I want to auto-door. This one, I didn't on this one because we're not going to see... Well, that could be... Yeah, I, I can see doing that. Let's cancel you and make a copy of you. Refrigerator here, freezer here. With haulers, and probably the dogs would be... You know the haulers in this case be constantly reloading the refrigerator part from the freezer so this is always well stocked and then hopefully the spaces by the stoves will be well stocked too but if not then they only have to go this far to go and get what they need to make their dinners so this is you know long-term storage and this is animals this is where the muffalos would have landed right here so in that case yes auto door and I'm trying to decide whether to even have doors on this main um, rec hall and and dining hall area i don't know that it's truly necessary if you can think of a reason why let me know bugs would be the only reason i can think of if they spawn here they've got the run of the place yeah there is that of course they could also spawn any of the hallways and then it gets really interesting really fast too but nah, i'm thinking the ease uh, many times they're going to be doing this this trip every single day it would be nice to have that wide open they can door into the the food refrigerator here the meal refrigerator but yeah i'm going to leave that one open unless you guys 
convince me otherwise. Um, what else is going on? Did Miss P? She oh, Handy's got it. Great, Miss P. You're back to picking away. Good. That's what I wanted. Right over there. Now I do want an opening in here. Let's cancel you and build a copy of you right there. So we don't have a door. We do have a door. Never mind. We could walk right through there. So some of the you know the existing rooms in here, like right here, that's I don't know what this is going to be, so I just left an opening in the wall. So we know we're hospital over here. I'm not sh I'm not certain what's going on over here. It may be this room takes up part of this, so that we you know get our our research going in part of you know, part of this. Somewhere in here is going to be our main entrance area, and I'm kind of thinking, oh, kind of a of a diagonal. Well, half moon shape right in here. Something a little fancier than a rectangle. A psychic ship. Oh, another one? Oh, man. A large piece of ancient ship is crashed nearby. Your colonists will feel it in the back of their minds, exhorting unspeakable acts. It must have an onboard AI persona, but it doesn't. With psychic projection ability, and this AI is not friendly. Yeah, I found out last time we don't get a AI persona persona core out of this thing. Destroy it as soon as possible. Where is it coming down? Still quite a ways away. Where are we at? Oh, we're on the side of us this time. Right into right into our our new uh, tree farm here. Whoa. Wild boar nine has been bitten to death. Timberwolf's moved in. What? Oh man! What? I, yeah. Huh? Where did he come from? Everything's on pause right now. And what are you? You're Doe One, wandering health. So that. Oh, okay. So. Okay, the wolf has been fighting deer. So this is the same wolf. That roamed in with the deer. Where are the deer now? Got a note last time where I couldn't find the wolf that he was with the deer. Maybe he has been slowly roaming down the map. I guess I need to pay more attention to our yard. I always just get this feeling that we're, you know, we're kind of safe in here. But, yeah, they can just kind of... Well, they can't really get through there, but he can't... Well, how would he get in here? Do you think he really walked through every one of these traps, at least the ones that are set, and made it through this? I don't know. He didn't come through here, and unless other animals can open our doors, he didn't come through here. That is blocked. So, but he is the one that was up there fighting deer. That is so strange. He must have been able to avoid every one of those traps. Because it doesn't say he has any trap damage, does it? No, just uh, fighting deer. Okay, well, we got to take him down. Another one of our of our little baby pigs are gone. And we've got this guy crashing in on us. I, didn't, I stopped him before he could even hit. There he is. It's official now. Hmm. Yeah. All right, well, from here on out, we stay for the most part paused because we want as little time to go by as possible. But let's deal with the immediate danger first. This wolf is toast. Problem is, what are you doing? Sangria is cowering. Okay, so she understands what's going on here. He's not going to do anything more than just eat that, then his, his uh, needs are going to be satisfied for a while. So he's not going to attack any more animals. Alicia has a shooting skill of four. Sangria of five. It'd be nice to get some of our snipers out on this one. So let's just do that. Tomislav, you are relaxing socially. Your snipe the snipers are gone, aren't they? Sniper rifles. Well there's one there. Handy, you still sniping? You are. Where are you at? You're down there. Uh Klaus is who I need. Klaus. Right there. You you are who I want. Okay. <clears throat> Where to? Your range?
There we go. Is barely in range. Okay. So Klaus, why don't you go right here. Sangria, you're staying inside. Alicia, cleaning dirt. I'll just have to be aware of you. Klaus, why don't you aim at? Rabbit, you're where? You're right there. Hmm. Oh, you still are... Who did I click on the head that didn't hit? Okay, well, um... Klaus, why don't you belay that order? Stay there. Um... Okay, that's not going to work. Then stay here. I need you and Rabbit to do this at the same time. So, Rabbit, you go here as well. Uh, there. Okay. Nobody's shooting right now. And Alicia, I know I'm going to forget about you. Though I would really like this cleaning to get done. You are now heading out here to clean up around the scary ship. Um, yeah. Um, oh, beating fire out. Uh, we're raining. There's a fire? There is a fire. Okay. Now, we're, we're fine there. In fact, a bunch of them are going to want to do that, huh? So, Alicia, you're on cleaning duty for a while. Let's get you, then, to clean... I need to give you a long run. Come all the way down and clean that one. By the time you get there, the rain will put the fire out. i got to watch to see who's going to be diving out this door to go and put out fires, like Tomislav. Beating out fire. He's who I clicked on and only saw that. Yeah. Um, okay, Tomislav will play the same game. You come and clean up that one right there. All right, Kethra, congratulations. You come over and clean up this one. <laughs> That's all going to be put out pretty soon. There's Rabbit. All right, Rabbit, you're going there, and Klaus, you're going there, and <clears throat> Alicia's going to walk through. Timberwolf is where now? You're right there, wandering. And you're heading out. Okay. That's what I needed to know. You guys, come on up in here. Let's see where he's going. He's going to stop there, isn't he? Of course. Okay. Then I want you guys right here. And with that, he's not considered an enemy. I see. Can you guys... that work? That worked. All right. Here we go. Got him. All right. <clears throat> you are zooming in on... You're not going to say. I would like... In fact, let's get Alicia to trigger this. Just in case that helps us. It should. Manhunter should be a, a qualifier. Yeah, there we go. Um, <laughs> Alicia, thank you. Um, can, can you clean down over here? Um, right there would be great. Alicia. There we go. Timberwolf Revenge. Timberwolf is attacking after being harmed. Jump to... Alright. Now. Um. Thank you. Alright, here we go. Somebody... With all of this rain of bullets, it's got to be able to make contact. One more. All right, you guys need to get back over here. All right, he's slowing down. Why don't you guys go all the way to here? By then, what was that? Mental break, Kathra. Kathra. You're probably stuck on cleaning. Nope, you're able to do what you want. You're consuming a lavish meal. Okay. All right, so I would imagine the turret's going to finish the job. There we go. All right, you guys are done, and you set for hunt, and Sangria, you're released, and everybody else, let's see if anybody's got a little red circle right there. Who was that? That is Alicia. You can cancel. All right. That was exciting. Too exciting. Now we've got to... Uh... He finished off the piglet, didn't he? 
He did. Sangrit, you are training a boobalo. You're hidden up there, and we gotta deal with this. Yeah. Mm, okay. So, don't want too much time to go by in the process. There. Who's going to hunt rabbit? Hmm. Handy? No. Tomislav, where are you at? You're down there. Who's around here with an auto pistol? Or a Shantigo and Kethra is taking a lavish meal. Let's let you finish that. Oh, you resting? Did you? Gear? You did already. Needs? You're, yeah, you're in trouble. Shantigo, actually, you're in really good shape. Why don't you come out here and hunt this for me? Right there. Now, it said rescue. I, eh, I don't want, I don't want that drama. No, we're not going to try and tame one right now. Uh, Churchill's carry these in. Great. Pig's carrying another one in. Good. All right. John Digo's going to end the wolf and haul that one in. Isabel, watching the show. We need to turn this off. Okay, so are we, this one has been shut down. We're running on that one. Okay. I guess we're ready to think about this. Right there. With mud, of course. So we still can't box a thing in and, and do that sort of thing to it again. Now, what can we target? Kethra, in her series, had a room like this that with, with caskets in there, and I suggested to, uh, you know, shoot the target from the end and then run out, but the guns won't target the the uh, casket and she when well, she was talking it wouldn't target the wall or anything else rabbit what you you're taking out that tree why are you taking out that tree let's cancel what you doing harvesting oak tree I don't know well, I'll let you finish her I guess We'll call that good. Okay. Rabbit, draft you, and can I have you target? I can have you target that. I cannot have you target a tree. I can have you target a battery and the walls here. Um, where's a manufactured wall? Can you target this? It's red. And you can target it. Okay. So you can target the walls there. And you can target this. Yes. And you can target conduit. Yep, you can target. So objects that we build, you can target. You cannot target plants and, and things, just the things we built. Okay. <clears throat> well, I'm, I'm debating how to trigger this guy. If I put a sin uh, bag right there and have him target that, some of the misses are going to hit it. So there's something to think about. 1190 of 1200. We've got to target it, get these guys out, and get this down far enough so that we can um, we can convince these guys to come into our gauntlet, which means before we do this, you know, sometime between now and next episode, I need to get more of the traps set up, or reset, and probably build, which means we need to get more of the trees cut. So let's think about who is on plant cut right now. So Rabbit is, except that he is growing and Sangria would have been once handling is done tell you what, when you're not handling you're going to be plant cutting let's get more of these trees cut so we can get more wood because we're basically out of wood one, yeah, we're down we've got this little pile right here plus the uh, the ones this, we have 46 wood Okay, uh, Rabbit, you're out of that go back to what you were doing which is making more food in the rain Mm hmm. Well, um, <laughs> Alicia, flicking switch. Antigo is making kibble out of the good meats because we're out of bug meat. Yeah. Oh, we have some more. Only five. So five raw fungus down there. All right then. Who? Okay. Tell you what. Why don't you haul the berries in? And Rabbit, why don't you haul some of these berries in? Let's get these out of the rain. After Alicia flicks that switch. Oh, so after Rabbit is done s harvesting. 
Okay, so I guess that was the end of the, the ones that needed harvesting. Okay, so Shanti goes quickly grabbing some berries to make some kibble out of. Right? Yeah, there you go. Anyway, um... What do we want to do here? Zoom out so that that creepy noise doesn't creep you out to you. Hmm, last time we did three turrets and got some distance. Our distance here... Hmm... It's not that easy. We have doors right here, but we're well within scyther range here. We need to be more like right over here. Yeah. Let's get our measuring tape out. Uh, which could be just about anything. Even floors. I did floors one time and I accidentally left them and they started building them. So let's not do floors. We'll go to the backup plan. Plan. <laughs> What's 45 from here? There's 24. Yeah, they can shoot to... What was the scyther? 35, wasn't it? There's the scyther, whereas the sniper is down there. So... How do we get out to... So 35? Something like that. A sweeping arc out of there. So the scythers from that point there should be able to reach right about here. If they go up behind, then we can sniper from here. Um, we can't build in the mud. So turrets are probably... What was the turret range? Do we know? We... I don't think it, it mentions it in there, did it? Range? It does not. We just have to kind of fake it. Okay. So, get back to our measuring tape here. You go out to there. So, we got a range of 25 on a turret. Okay. Hmm. So, 25 from here is... What's the best way to do that? Let's do that again from, say, here. We'll go out 25 by 25. Right there. So, turret range, if you arc from point to point there, is about like here. Really? Let's do that again. We went down 25, right there. So, if we sweep out around till we hit this 25, yeah, it's kind of right down in here. Although we're not really trying to turret this. Though if we can turret accidentally while we're going after the scythers, then we turret this. Which is really what we're, what we're shooting for, is to get this guy down to zero. Okay, I'm just trying to work my way through this. Not a whole lot of steel right now. Yeah, not a lot of power right now. Though this time, maybe, because we've got a lot more batteries available. Maybe we won't worry about power this time. Maybe we'll just bring a bank of four and call it good enough. That sounds reasonable. Okay. So let's... Security. Right there. Mortars. Hmm. Okay, if you were to go here, is that wise? Hmm. Yes and no. If they make their run and this one's still alive, then once they cross right there, get to this point, we won't be able to hit them. But most likely they're not going to leave the area until that's done anyway. Let me zoom out a little bit. Too noisy. Not noisy for me because my speakers are down low, but I notice it's noisy in the recording. Um, but with that stone wall right there, that means that if an explosion hits right here, it will not affect the turret at all. It is very solidly guarded. So in that matter, if we got to like here it's protected from all but the front. I kind of like that. Let's put you there. Another one. What is the advantage here? Separating them out, there's an advantage, that's for sure. Would we snipe from here? I don't think so. So we got one there. We could theoretically 
hide around this corner and shoot and get back in this door. So I'll leave that as a backup idea. So the other one, if it goes right here, there's a lot of other material around for their bullets to hit and miss our... Okay, I'm going to put you right there and right there. All right, so there's two. Is two enough? With so many people and a door able to escape into, I'm going to... I think I'm going to take the gamble that two is going to be enough here. Let's get us some power. Um, power. Boy, I'd love to have a redundant. Because so i got to go out here in front with power. Yeah, don't like that. Let's split the batteries up so I can get power from two different directions. That's better. Alright, explosion. One, two, three. I'm going to go out four. Five. Those will connect to that. Send you down here, down like this, and there, and we'll battery right there. So let's just grab one right now while I'm thinking of it. Let's battery uh, this this bank. I hope we hope we don't need it, but let's reinstall you over here. Where am I? Over here, like that. All right, so that's going to power from this side. And back to conduit, uh, turret, turret. So we're going to shoot across like this and come down this side. And let's send you into here. Let's, not battery, let's grab more of these. Number two. And reinstall you there. Three. There you are. Three should be more than enough. Two fully charged batteries should do the job, even at night. But I don't think they're going to specifically target these things. Now that goes boom. It might not hurt to... I'll throw in a bit of a wall right there. Heck, I could do that here. I could. Let's think about that. Let me granite wall there, and granite wall there, and behind. If it is a centipede that sends a rocket down and it blows up right here, it, this could still take damage even though it completely missed it. Although if it tries to go over there, it's going to hit these walls and blow up here anyway, huh? Hmm. Just trying to... It's got to be a direct hit here and here to do any damage. That's my thought. We'll see if that works out. All right, so power there and power there. Uh, we could put one more right here. Reinstall. And on this side. So we got power coming from two directions. If it blows up right here, this may still be able to grab it a little further down and vice versa. So we have two batteries supplying from two different directions. If we break the power in here somewhere, which means a centipede sends a rocket volley in and goes boom and burns it up, then we're still powering from one side or the other, hopefully. Hopefully. Any way to help that? Let's do this. There's a second chance to grab there, a second chance to grab through there. Yeah, and then even one down like that. Just to make it easier for either side to grab the other direction. Okay, so there's two turrets. There's a quick power supply. Um, any way to help us? I mean, we could quickly construct a, a wall, shoot across this thing with some doors in it, sniper from here run into a door rather than try to get further out and take a scyther shot in the back as we're going it's a lot of construction to do though is it worth it it could be i mean long term we could you know seal this thing off as as our main uh seal for this area well, i guess i can kind of see that we came out of here and shot across to there and put I was going to say an auto door for the ease of what we're doing, but no, we'll put a granite door that is locked open 
and it'll close as we go through maybe something like that now specifically where for what we're doing here we want it to be right there but I can see this being far more convenient to go through for working out here we'll do both okay well in that case we've got some kind of a defense back over here or a, a way to escape we got potential of folks with uh, um, charge rifles or something to peek around the corner and let off a shot if that's going to help out. Um, otherwise, it looks like sandbags. It looks like shooting from this area is really what we want to be doing. Um, another possibility, sniper. Let me let me get a sniper out here. Handy, what you doing? You're building a marble, marble wall where? You're back in there. Rabbit, you're over in here. Needs, you're doing fine. You guys are bringing all the stuff in. Klaus, you are my other one. You are refueling a... Ref oh, you're refueling the stove. Kind of like that. So, Rabbit, why don't you just drop that off right there and come on out here. I need to know how... I don't need to know if you can reach that. And if not, or if you can, where else here? If we were to pop a little structure in, like, you know... Hmm... Actually, just a piece of wall there. And a piece of wall there. I don't know, something like that. Um, that. Just little things to get behind. And, you know, stand in that little void and shoot through. i got to see if you reach these things. So, rabbit, head there. That's the first place I'm thinking of. And that tree is potentially going to be a problem for us. We'll see. So if you go there... Okay, you have got a shot. Which means you've got a shot from here and here as well. Right? Why don't you go there for me? Can I do that while you're walking? I can. Alright, so from there, you've got a shot for this. You may not have a shot for these, but they won't be able to shoot you either. They're going to have to move in closer all the way to here to aim at you. Okay, so we're good there. Um, this is just too close. They're going to hit everybody right here. That's about all there is to it. And I can't get you guys hiding in here because you got no escape route. So really it's whatever structures you put in up here. And okay, so you're relieved. Thank you. And so let's do another something like right there. And that's about it. So one, two, three, four places to stand behind. And they're kind of far enough away from, from each other. Like right here, you'd have the cover of that and the tree, hopefully. Then if a, if a rocket came in and went boom, we're not going to hit all of you guys at once. I think that's the defense. Just a matter of, uh, of getting there. And if we're going to get a raid drop in on us right when that happens. Yeah. Okay. So I see it's about time to shut this episode down anyway. Handy, why don't you start the process you bring out stuff to do these walls rabbit you bring out stuff to do these walls um tomislav you are cleaning rock rubble i'm sure you'd love to get out of there once you bring out the stuff to do this then you'll break and get some uh some dinner um we could tear these down then though not until this is actually built not until uh shantigo Cooking lavish meals. I think we just want to let him do that non-stop for a while. Klaus, you're hauling hay. When you're done hauling hay, then come and reserve by Tomislav. Come out and bring out some supplies for that. Uh, we'll bring out the batteries last. Sangria taking rice. You're going to go get us some boomalopes. That could be kind of interesting here too. Except that it won't contain the fire and build up any heat. So we'll just we'll save those boomalopes for later. At least we have at least we have one right now. So consuming a lavish meal. Um, do you do any kind of? You don't. You well, you do. Bring up the metal. Um, we have one boomalope. So I was about to say we have a little bit of an insurance policy. Uh, cutting stone blocks. Once you bring out iron or steel for that one. Miss a P. Digging at granite. Um, Let's see, why don't you bring out stuff for that one. And Alicia, cleaning dirt. Where have we not already... 
a sign because they're going to you know cover a large area. So there, there, and there, uh, and those. Hmm. Why don't you bring out one of the batteries? Um, that one right there. Okay. So with that, everyone's assigned. We'll get them working, and I'll probably go ahead and continue this for a little while, at least getting the materials over here, so that maybe when we start the next day, we'll see how this works. I want everybody to get a good sleep, though. Uh, we'll be able to, to start this process for next episode. So, yeah, I think so. This has been Noble Rambler. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll catch you next time. Bye-bye.